Good morning. So for too long, patients with bone cancer and the surgeons who treat them have had to settle for product solutions not specifically designed to meet their needs. We found that Oncos to address a large underserved market opportunity that is ripe for disruption. And we're doing this through both innovation and just a maniacal commercial focus. So we're founded in October of 2015 with a group of uh, experienced med tech executives and um, uh, serial entrepreneurs. And with a investor team that was very strong, supportive, and saw our vision, they had the vision to see the thesis that was in front of us. And I can tell you that that thesis is stronger today than it, is when we, than it was when we started the company. And how are we doing this? We're doing it through innovation. We're solving our customers' needs. And again, we're really focused on the commercial call point that, uh, that we look after. So the market that we're addressing, it's a big market. And it's not just a big market, it's growing fast, probably two to four times the rate of the primary total joint market. And it's an underserved community, so great opportunity for us. And there probably hasn't been a meaningful innovation prior to Oncos in about 15 years to, um, um, for these surgeons. If you look at where the current orthopedic companies are focused, they're focused in primary joints, they're focused on migration to outpatient surgery centers, and they're focused on robotics, leaving a great opportunity for us to address at Oncos. And it's a concentrated customer base, so there are probably two to 300 hospitals. The surgeons that do this work, they do it at major cancer centers and major academic medical centers. And many of our customers are also the department chairs and department heads in orthopedics. And as far as opportunity, there's a lot for us, but our customers told us, and through some market research, that there were three key areas, and I'll show you how we're addressing all of them. It is having these implants last longer, it's having them perform better through reattaching soft tissues and tendons to them, and addressing infection, which is a hideous problem. And I am happy to say that Oncos is now rapidly becoming the go-to provider for some of the strongest institutions in the country, and you can see just a few of them here. So what do we do? So if you look at this skeleton and that uh, magenta dot there, that represents a bone tumor. So at the end of the thigh or the femur, that bone is diseased and needs to re be replaced. So our Elios implant system, you can think of that as a highly specialized implant system to address bone loss in cancer patients, trauma patients, and patients in need of a revision joint. So that system is fully interchangeable and customizable inside the operating room where the surgeon can select different pieces to fit the patient and the amount of bone that's removed. The other part of our portfolio is what we trademark and brand My3D. In this area, we are leveraging expertise in patient imaging acquisition, using that imaging to create a personalized plan solution that includes instrument design, um, instrument solutions as well as implant solutions. And I'll show you how, quite frankly, we have revolutionized the standard of care with that offering. So we have had a steady drumbeat of product innovation and more to come. So if you look at what we've done with Ilios, these are some of the products that we've launched. We've already begun to address the soft tissue management and reattaching um, tendons to the implants. So in the lower left you see there is the world's first fully 3D printed titanium implant. It's got an engineered ingrowth surface to allow that soft tissue to attach to the implant. Um, up above that is a new hip that we launched uh, probably third quarter of last year. And again, that's got a patent pending feature to suture the muscle back to the hip for greater functionality. And on the right is an offering that we're going to be launching later this year that has the promise for having these implants last longer. And that is an interchangeable modular collar, I don't know if I can point to that, that's again, 3D printed, that allows the bone to grow into it better than previous implants on the market. Another issue we talked about is, is infection. Hideous problem for these patients. Infection rates can be as high as 40, 40% in some studies, where in primary joints it's one or 2%. Upwards of a billion dollars estimated cost to the US healthcare system alone in prosthetic joint infection. I heard a speaker earlier in the week say it was almost two billion. Um, big number either way. And if that infection happens within 90 days of discharge, the hospital doesn't get reimbursed for treating that patient again. 
So we have developed a novel technology that actually provides antimicrobial properties to the Im implant systems. Very excited about the technology and it holds great promise and uh, we'll be launching that one in the future. On the personalization side, so here we are leveraging expertise in capturing patient imaging, recreating the patient's anatomy, and with the surgeon designing a solution for that. So the way this works and the way we do this is on the left, the surgeon actually logs in to a HIPAA compliant secure portal where they can push data directly to us in just a few button pushes right from the EMR. It makes it easy, it makes it sticky, and nobody else is providing that kind of service. Our engineers then work to recreate that patient anatomy, and then we get on a video call, you know, or Zoom with um, the surgeon. The surgeon determines what bone they want to remove. Now, why this is important, we can now, through the data, work with the surgeon to precisely remove the cancer and not have to remove the whole joint. These patients have cancer, not arthritis, and to remove a patient's healthy joint as the way it's historically been done is really a shame. So let me show you with a video how, um, how this actually works. So you can see here the patient is, is reconstructed, and um, this is, uh, can you hit that for me? And just, yeah, I mean, stop it there, thank you. So you can see here in the darker area, that's the plan that the surgeon had and said, this is where we wanna safely remove that diseased bone. You can then start that up again. So from that, the engineer then designs the cutting guides and the cutting tools for the surgeon to remove just that bone. We then have, a, we now have available the world's only commercially available virtual bone bank where we can bring into that case, and you saw it there superimposed, the actual bone graft to see if the surgeon prefers that fit, and it's what they're looking for. We then can take that out to the real world and provide the instrumentation for the patient, the instrumentation for the graft, and ship that all to the hospital. And we've done that in as little as three days. Our closest competitor, they don't even have an offering like this, but their lead times are measured in months, not days. So we're truly disrupting the standard of care here and how those lesions are, are treated. So, our strategy is pretty straightforward. It's bring innovative solutions to these problems that have been ignored for far too long. It's leverage the, our competencies in image processing and 3D printing, and it's just having that maniacal focus on our customer base. And through a steady drumbeat of innovation and focus on our commercial organization, we will continue to drive growth north of um, $100 million in five years. Now I can say the strategy is working. We've had over a 50% kegger since our inception and last year in a market that was down arguably 15%, we grew almost 23%. So to date, we've built the infrastructure, we've built the commercial organization, we've launched a steady stream of meaningful products and there's a lot of opportunity to go from here. So we're currently raising $15 million to fuel this growth. We're gonna accelerate the R&D programs, drive further commercial expansion, and further surgeon education and training. So in summary, Oncos is building a specialty med tech company focused on complex orthopedics in a big market, and we're addressing it through innovation and focus. Thank you very much. We're gonna be um, across the way in um, the breakout room. So if anybody has any questions or want to discuss the business a little bit further, we'd be happy to do that. Thanks so much.